Hi, my name is Lincoln Ward. I'm a USPTA certified tennis teaching pro here in Austin, Texas with Lone Star Tennis Company. Today we're going to talk to you about how to hold your racket in a semi-western grip. If you look at the bottom of your tennis racket, it has an octagon shape handle. Every tennis racket out there will have eight sides. They do this purposely so that you can, it can help you determine which grip you're going to hold. Each one of these flat edges are what we call bevels. If you start off right on the top, along the edge of the neck and come down to the handle, this flat edge up top is called bevel number one. If you're right-handed, you want to rotate your, your racket clockwise one bevel to bevel number two. The next one will name bevel three. The next one will name bevel four. Bevel number four is the, is the bevel you're going to hold for your semi-western grip. You want to lay the bevel along the base of your pointer knuckle, catacorner to the heel of your palm wrapping your hands around it with a trigger finger. You want to hold the bottom of your racket. You don't want to choke up too high at the top. So let's count. One, two, three, four. You're going to lay that part on the base knuckle, cut a corner to the heel of your palm, wrapping your hand around it with a trigger finger. And your racket should look like this in your hand. A little bit on the awkward side, but not too bad. This, this uh, grip is very good for top spin high balls and medium height balls. You have a lot of power because your, your wrist is completely behind the racket. You drive through the ball. It's what we call a strong grip. Your racket's back, your wrist is back here driving through the shot. A semi-western grip is what a majority of the pros nowadays tend to hit with. That's how you hold a semi-western grip. I'm Lincoln Ward. Thanks a lot.